Welcome to another episode of Raid or Roast, my rig. I am your host, Fluff. If you have a rig that you would like to be rated and or roasted, feel free to shoot an email on over to rate or roast at gmail.com and we will get you squared away. Let's get started, shall we? Is the Born a Rock pick, uh, it's not a, the cutout, Born a Rock cutout? Did you make that in youth group? Are you proud of it? Enough to display it? Did you frame this picture on purpose like that? Two out of five beards. Wow. Look at all those amps. Those are, I mean, every single one of these amps is really phenomenal. I just can't help but think the owner was like, ugh. They're gonna stop making amplifiers, so I have to collect all of them. The world will hear me. Five out of five beards. Okay, so this rig is obviously probably in your bedroom. You are probably no older than 15, 16 years old, and you have quite the range of musical tastes. I see a Nirvana CD booklet, a Black Sabbath CD booklet, a Neck Deep CD booklet, and then a Death. CD booklet. So you listen to pop punk, death metal, Black Sabbath, and then Nirvana? Okay, now, I'm not judging. I also love the pedals on your dresser. I love the visual of someone like playing and then like hitting them. I like that. I like violence. I'm just kidding, no I don't. I will still give your rig mm, three out of five beards. This rig, wow. First of all, I have to say on a personal note, I am impressed. I wish I could get on your level. I also can't help but think and feel sorry for the amount of things that have been neglected in your life for you to get to this point with your rig. How many broken relationships and family members, how many don't even talk to you anymore? I bet it's more than four. Five out of five beards. I love the fact that you have your guitars on guitar stands. Now, obviously the Flying V doesn't need a guitar stand. Your Les Paul and your Tremonti SE, good job. You know what? More people should use you as an example of when to use a guitar stand. With your Tremonti SE, I just can't help but think you were like, this, this PRS is pretty good. How can I make this uglier? I want it to look like it came from Walmart. Green pickups is the answer. That's it. I'm gonna get green pickups. What were you thinking? I'm still gonna give your rig three and a half out of five beards though. First of all, I love the, the flame inlays on the Schecter. Awesome. I also love how I can see two thirds of your rig because you framed the photo so adequately. So I don't even know what, uh, what kind of guitar that is um, up at the top. Also, I love your, your presence of mind to put a lamp on your amplifier. Just in case it gets too dark, you can uh, you have a little nightlight for your uh, for your rockin'. Your rockin' has a little nightlight. I think it could use a little tidying up, but you know what? Nevertheless, I'm gonna still give your rig two and a half out of five beards. Okay, this room is a little weird. This setup is a little weird. First of all, your amplifier is right next to your heater, your wall heater. Um, you're right next to your bed but also directly next to what I presume to be some kind of other living thing, a gerbil, a parakeet, or some other poor living thing that has to listen to you play. This looks like musician detention. And also that optimistic pedal board, you're like, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna get so many things eventually when I'm not crying myself to sleep in the bed that's right next to my guitar. I'm gonna still give you a rig three out of five beards though. All right, this rig, this is all the sick, and I'm not even gonna front. This is awesome, I would love to have this rig. Simple, straight ahead, a dual rectifier, a 90s rectifier into a 412 with a nice clean pedal board and a little Roland action for the clean tones. Uh, bravo. Uh, I'm gonna give you a rig four and a half out of five beards. That does it for this episode of Rate or Roast, my rig. Thank you so much to everyone who has been sending in all of their awesome and not awesome rigs to the rate or roast email and if you would like to do so yourself feel free to shoot an email over to rate or roast at gmail.com and i will see you next time bluff out